Tabitha Tomato sat in her garden one lovely spring day, awaiting the arrival of her guests. A special tea was to be held in honor of the family's patriarch, Grandpa Onion. A lemon yellow sun hung in a clear blue sky. Tabitha smiled as her first guest arrived, her sister Penelope, a petite, polite potato. Oh, Tabitha, I am so looking forward to seeing Papa. It has been so long. While the rest of the family referred to their father as Grandpa Onion, Penelope still preferred to call him Papa. He should be here any moment, Spud Sweetie, said Tabitha. Tabitha, please don't call me by that old nickname. It is crude, Penelope said. Sorry, my dear, I forgot, Tabitha replied. Oh, look, another sister has come. Oh, Pepperhead, you are looking well, Tabitha exclaimed. And there is your sweet little daughter, Lori Lime. Little Lori Lime sat right next to her mother. As Pepperhead said, you two are looking in fine health yourselves. And then Grandpa Onion arrived. What a fine, fine day for a tea with all my family here, he said. Now where's my eldest girl, Clara, and her twins? Well, looky here, I see my little Lori Lime. When the twins arrive, I have stories to tell and a magic trick or two. Here is our Clara now, said Tabitha. And where's your husband, Zook? Clara had married a fun-loving gentleman, Zucchini, and they had twins, a boy and a girl. Zook will be in in a moment. He's just helping the twins unload, said Clara. I am so happy to see all of you. Now here's Zook Zucchini, cried Grandpa Onion. Hey, everybody said Zook. The twins were hoping to get in the pool. They got a little overheated riding in the hot sun. Well, Zook, said Clara, shouldn't they sit at the table for tea first? Clara wanted her little lime children to grow up with proper manners. You tell them that their Aunt Penelope says of course they can get in the pool, cried Aunt Penelope from across the table. And so the twins, Bartholomew and Babette, lounged in the cool water. As the grown-ups reminisced about days gone by. Little Lori Lime still sat quietly beside her mother, listening. She did not join her cousins in the pool. Grandpa Onion told tales about the crazy antics of their own father when he was a young zucchini. And Grandpa Onion told stories of his own young daughters and all the veg gentleman callers that used to come knocking, wanting to sit on the porch with his girls. Oh, Grandpa Onion, tell the one about Aunt Pepperhead when she was little and she got lost, cried Babette. So Grandpa Onion told the tale of little Pepperhead being left behind after falling from the back of a produce truck. Now aren't you too glad to hear that your Grandpa Onion traveled miles and miles to find his little pepperhead? I simply can't believe the afternoon has passed so quickly, cried Clara. We have all had such a grand time, haven't we? A grand time indeed, bellowed Grandpa Onion. And we shall do it again. We shall gather for tea. Then little Lori Lime quietly moved toward Grandpa Onion to give him a big 